It's been over a month since the mandatory 14-day quarantine was put in place for all passengers flying to Hawaii. 83 visitors flew in yesterday, the first day of new screening procedures for all arriving passengers. Nikki Schenfeld has an update. Once you get out the airplane, officials are going to call the phone number that you provided right there on the spot just to make sure that it works. Next, they're going to call the hotel to make sure that you do have a reservation. And for residents coming home, they're going to take the address you provided and match it with tax property records. Tourism officials say about 400 passengers have gone through the new screening process so far. The passengers are requested to re verify information provided. If the passenger cannot provide information, the passenger will be turned over to law enforcement for further processing. HTA and DOT told the Special Senate Committee on COVID-19 that one passenger didn't have a reservation and wasn't allowed to leave until he figured one out. Another passenger didn't even know there was a mandatory 14-day quarantine in place and booked a ticket back home. Senator Donna Kim said she was able to book flights to Hawaii on several sites easily without any mention of a quarantine. After several visitors were caught breaking the mandatory quarantine rules, senators asked if a designated quarantine spot could be implemented and watched over by the National Guard. That are um, more managed, enforced. Um, that is something that I think we're, we're having conversations with Haima, with uh, DOT, with law enforcement about how some of that might look. So we'll be pegging our legal. Senator Jarrett Keohokalole asked if violators could be detained. We won't. We'll put them on a barge. We'll make them wait out the 14 days there. We'll be fine. Why don't we do that instead? Senators also asked what will happen when Governor Ige's 14 day quarantine mandate expires on April 30th. I envision that's probably a one, and that's going to be something we're going to have to keep in place. Because again, when we before the 14 day quarantine, we saw large numbers of people. After the 14 day quarantine was imposed, we saw many, many fewer people coming to the state. So I think what I hear. And there are more residents flying in than visitors. And just a reminder, they too have to abide by the 14-day mandatory quarantine. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. The